Who's twisted from who in Disney canon has been a question that's been asked since the game was basically first announced. Some characters are more obvious than others, like Malleus and the Tweels. Others are not so cut and dry. No one can figure out who Jack is twisted from when it's obvious that he's twisted from Tobas's childhood Lion King OC. <laughs> oh, that's a joke, mind your business. And in some cases, what seems like straightforward cases turn out to be more complex. Things are not what they seem in Twisted Wonderland, and that applies to the characters as well. This isn't an exhaustive list of those who have more than one inspiration to them, but it's either the ones fans talk about the most, or the ones I find the most interesting. And as for most of my videos, there will be spoilers in this video for cards that have not come out in the end yet, or at least that haven't been released as of July 19th, 2022. Katie's an interesting case when it comes to who he's twisted from. Formally, I think it's a very safe assumption that his main inspiration is the Four of Diamonds slash the card Soldiers. His name is most likely a play on the French word for four, quatre. I don't... <laughs> I love butchering French. I spent my... I spent four years in the trenches learning French. I can butcher it as much as I want. Anyway, it's, it might be a pun. Um, I don't think I need to explain the connection when it comes to his surname. However, Kate has some very interesting ties to other characters in the Disney canon. According to the Magical Archives, Kate was originally supposed to be a rabbit beast man. This would imply he was originally twisted from the white rabbit or the March Hare. I don't remember if they specified which one in the book because, <laughs> because I lost my copy. <laughs> what a surprise. Kate also has some similarities with Cinderella, of all characters. Although both of his parents are alive, and as far as we know, this isn't their second marriage, Kate and Cinderella both have two fussy older sisters. Kate mentions his sisters would make him run errands or do things for them in his union birthday vignette. I think he's also mentioned it other places, but that's just the one place I remember. While Cinderella and her stepsisters, at least in the first movie, are not on great terms, with Kate and his sisters, it's a little different. He talks about how demanding they can be and how he hates having to do things for them, but he's noted that they're fine if he says no. I suppose if you wanted to take this further, you could make a connection between Kate's self-proclaimed party boy identity and the fact that Cinderella just wanted to go to a party and that kind of kick-started the movie, but I think that falls more into the eh, territory of connections. I mean, I still love the Caterella jokes, though, not gonna lie. Silver is one of those cases where you think you have it figured out and then the game throws you curveballs, because of course it does. Before the game dropped, most people assumed that he was twisted from Philip's sword. And to be fair, it's not a bad conclusion, and I don't think it's incorrect. Silver's coffin insignia has a sword on it, his groovy candy is also a sword, and if we look at the post-release evidence, he's got a sword on his Union birthday jacket, swords are usually silver, he's a bodyguard, he knows how to sword fight, you know. But since the game has come out, people have noticed that he has a lot in common with Sleeping Beauty, so much so that it feels like he really might have been based off of her more than any sword. Silver is always sleepy tired, and as far as we know, it's not a medical condition. Silver mentions that Lilia has taken him to doctors and they've said nothing is wrong, which implies the condition is magical rather than medical. This, of course, corresponds to the sleeping curse and sleeping beauty. Silver is also noted by Vil to have auroral eyes, which is a, a very strange way to refer to someone's eye color, al although it is accurate. This is very much a reference to Aurora, as is the fact that Silver makes friends with woodland creatures and has been depicted in art being surrounded by them. He's adopted, much like Aurora herself was adopted, and he even lives in an isolated cottage in the woods like Aurora did. There's ample evidence he's partially twisted from Sleeping Beauty, and the final piece of evidence comes from the fact that he's only one of three characters who uses light magic as opposed to dark. During battles, if you have a void element for a card, usually they'll use dark magic, but Silver along with Kaleem and Rook are the only ones who use a light magic. This hasn't been confirmed, mind you, but with Kaleem and Rook being twisted from non-villains, it kind of indicates that light magic users are not twisted from villains. So Silver using light magic implies he's twisted from a hero, or he's not completely twisted from a villain. When Sabak was first announced, most people thought he was twisted from Maleficent's lightning. His last name, Zigvol, invokes the imagery of lightning. He's got the green color palette going on. When he has his hair done, it has that little lightning bolt in it, although that's hair gel and not how his hair is naturally. And both his coffin and groovy candy have lightning bolts in them. However, there's been an emerging theory that he might be twisted from the crocodile from Peter Pan. Or twisted from the crocodile as well as lightning, because, I mean, <laughs> you guys know the drill by now. It's been like two minutes. Sebek has fangies, which, great, <laughs> great design choice. Crocodiles also have sharp teeth. But what's interesting with Sebek is that he mentions it's a family trait from his mother's side of the family. And that his mother's side also has a thing for, like, having a strong bite force, which... Slay, love that. <laughs> uh, but 
but I don't think I need to tell anyone that getting bit by a crocodile is bad news and will seriously injure you. I'm talking to you, Floridians, and close your damn pools. Sebek's name is also an interesting thing to look at. It's a Polish and Slavic surname, but it's also a form of the name Sobek. Sobek is an Egyptian deity that's represented by a person with a crocodile head or just a crocodile. He's associated with the various crocodiles that live in the Nile and, fun fact, serves as a protective deity against getting fucked up in the Nile. I, I mean, that's not his whole purpose. I just thought it was interesting as someone who grew up around rivers and was told not to be stupid about river safety. The crocodile from Peter Pan also apparently had a fairy mom, albeit adoptive mom. Never realized there was deep lore to Peter Pan. Or maybe it's just in the movie and I forgot considering it's been years since I've seen it or ridden the ride at Disneyland since the line's always like a fucking hour long. There's a lot going on in Twist that we don't have confirmation of and while who's Twisted from who is one of them, it's something I don't know if we're ever going to get a concrete answer for. Or even if we really need one. Because while, yes, a character's inspirations are a part of them, it's not their entire character, and as adaptations are prone to do, things will be a bit different from the source material. It's a nice thought experiment, but who knows what's really going on. Let me guys know what you think and if you want a part two. There's other characters, some I already had drafted, like Lilia and Crowley, but I didn't like the segment, so I trashed them, and then there's some that I have, like, one one bullet point for <laughs> Trey. Um, anyway, I could cover those if you guys are interested. Crowley's probably going to get his own video, though. And with that, I will see you guys later. Bye, y'all.